What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Mark coming back at y'all again. And what I want to talk about today is why I don't like going to barbershops. And in this video, I'm going to give you reasons why I don't like going to barbershops. And, you know, I'm going to tell y'all a story about what happened many years ago. From when me and my brother used to go to this barbershop in particular. Um, This was like over 10 years ago, like all the way back in the year of 2005. Okay, so... For those of you who don't know, um, I'm from New Orleans, and in back in August of 2005, um, Hurricane Katrina had, you know, came in New Orleans, and of course y'all know it, it destroyed the city, so we had to move to, you know, a relative's house. And at first we were staying in my cousin's house, um, for a brief period, and then, you know, we eventually moved into my aunt's house in October of 2005, I believe. But um. So, you know, once we moved to my aunt's house, you know, we found a barber that was, like, um, not so far away from from where my aunt stayed at. So, me and my brother would go there on a regular basis. And at first, things were going well. But then after a while, like, this one particular day, me and my brother went to this barber shop. Um, we, went, we went into the shop, and um, they had people that went before us, you know, that got their hair cut before us. And... And mind you, these people, you know, they got their haircuts before we did. And we've been there, you know, way before other people came along. You know what I'm saying? And I'm guessing they had to be clients that, you know, they schedule appointments and all that stuff and go there on a regular basis. So that was the reason why they went before us or whatever. But, you know, but anyhow, here's here's the thing. So me and my brother went to this barber shop, you know, the one that was by my aunt's house. And... At first, you know, we we were waiting patiently, you know, for other people getting their hair cut before, before us and all that stuff. But y'all, like, after a while, like, I've gotten really irritated because y'all want to know how long me and my brother had to wait to get our hair cut? We had to wait for at least three or four hours. And I'm telling you, like, and then I remember we, we fell asleep in a barbershop one time because that's how long we had to wait. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like... What is taking so so long for us to get our haircuts? Because we've been here, you know, long before these people came along, you know, other people. And they may have been clients or whatever the case may be, but, you know, we should have got our haircuts first. I'm like, you know, I was very irritated. And, you know, I told my mom about it. And she was like, well, y'all not going back there again. And we haven't been back there since. So um, that happened all the way to 2005, you know. From when me and my brother, the first time me and my brother stayed um, for like three or four hours, you know, straight in a barbershop. So, I'm going to tell y'all another incident, you know. Uh, okay. So, me and my brother, we went to this barbershop, like, this was almost about a year ago because we went last year um, to this new place, you know, that was like not too far away from our house. And, um... We went in there, and when it was my turn to get my hair cut, you know, the man had asked me, and I'm talking about one of the barbers, he asked me how you want to get your hair cut, and I told him exactly how, how I wanted to get cut, you know, and you want to know what he told me? He gonna tell me, look, man, do you want to get your hair cut or not? I'm like, I'm looking at him like he's crazy. I'm like, I know you ain't talking to me, and I see. And I know what y'all thinking. Why you end up staying anyhow? I would have been walked out if you talked to me like that. Well, see, here's the thing. You know, like, I think it's been, like, several weeks since we got our haircuts. And which is, we were just desperate to get our haircuts, basically. And, um, you know, I was really surprised that my mom didn't say nothing about it. Because she was sitting right there, you know, when me and my brother were getting our haircuts and all that stuff. And she heard this man, you know, talk to us in any kind of way, especially me in particular. And she didn't really say nothing about it, you know, to come to my defense. But, you know, but anyhow, you know, that's really beside the point. So, you know, I let him cut my hair. And while he's cutting my hair, you know, he want to ask me a whole bunch of questions like, um, did you put grease in your hair? You know, because your hair is dirty like a mofo. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, excuse me? Now, see? You ought to be glad I'm letting you do my hair at all. And now you're going to be this rude to me? 
And so, you know, I was pretty ticked off. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the man was being rude and, you know, he kept checking his phone like, you know, every five minutes or so and talking to his phone, like talking on the phone to his wife or girlfriend or whoever that may be to him. And, um, you know, once he was done, you know, I paid the man and not only did I pay him, but I actually gave him a tip, which he really didn't deserve it. And I even told my mom, like, you know, he was lucky that I even gave him anything at all. And, you know, because my mom had said that I should have gave him more for the tip because like, I think I gave him like, well, first of all, um, of course, the haircuts were like $20 a piece. and I think I end up giving him 40, um, you know, cause you know, for me, my brother and I gave him like $4 in tip. And my mom was like, well, you should have gave him more for tip. I'm like, and then I told her like, she, he ought to be glad that I gave him anything at all. Cause you know, cause like I said before, that man was very rude to me. Like he, you know, he, he was talking to me real disrespectfully and all that stuff. And I know had this been anybody else, you know, they would have walked out or probably cursed him out or even, you know, hit him or, like, and all that stuff. But, you know, he better be glad that I'm not like other people. You know what I'm saying? And, and he better be glad that I'm safe. But, um, but that was the first time. And this wasn't the only time that this happened. So, but, you know, when I went there, you know, the barbershop that was, like, you know, not too far away from, from where I stayed, like, I was, I was over the first time. But, you know, um, but y'all would not believe this. Like, you know me and my brother had to go back there to that same barbershop the second time. Because the one that was, the other one that was right closer to our house, um, I think he had to go to his child's graduation or something like that. Like, so that's why his shop wasn't open on that particular day. So, um, me and my brother basically had no choice but to go to that same barbershop to where the man was being rude to me. Now, I will say this. The second time that I went to this barbershop, like, it wasn't as bad. But, you know, I still I still was over it because from the first time. Because, like I said before, the man was very rude to me. But, you know, the second time that we went, like, you know, the people weren't as rude. And, but, you know, it still wasn't a comfortable environment for me. You know, because everybody was real loud and you know, and ghetto and all that stuff, and I, I ain't got time for all that, like, I don't associate with people like that, people that just be loud for no reason, and act like a whole bunch of hoodlums, but, um, anyhow, you know, the second time wasn't as bad as the first time, but, y'all gonna really get a kick out of this, but, um, not only did we went to that barber shop once or twice, we went there the third time around, and, Y'all, let me tell you, and y'all know what they say, three strikes, you're out. And y'all, I was completely over it this day. So, me and my brother had to go to this barber shop again, you know, for the third time. And y'all, I felt like history has repeated itself because, you know, we, I think we went there, like, we, we went to that barber shop, like, since 11 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Y'all would never guess how long we actually had to wait. We had to wait for like maybe three or four o'clock until it finally cut our hair. So I felt like history had repeated itself because, you know, I had that same experience before from when I was living in my aunt's house and we had to go to this barbershop that was like right closer to her house. And we had to wait for a very long time. So that's the, that's the same experience that we had at this particular barbershop that was right by our house. And, you know, I was, y'all, I was mad as I don't know what. Like, I didn't even know what to do with myself because we had to wait, we had to sit there for so long. And eventually, the man was like, uh, what are y'all here for? Then I told him, but I told him that I was here to get my hair cut. And... I really didn't appreciate the man, you know, mocking me and all that stuff. He was like, now see, people think I'm stupid. They think I don't know what's going on. I know exactly what's going on. I just don't be saying nothing most of the time. He want to he wanna say, well, I'm just here to get my hair cut. You know, trying to mock me. But, um, but anyhow, like, I should have walked out right, right then and there. But 
but they, like I said before, they probably had clients, you know, they go there on a regular basis to get their haircuts. And now, see me and my brother, we usually don't schedule appointments to get our haircuts because, you know, we would automatically go into the barbershop and expecting everybody else to cut our hair. And we're so used to our own personal barber, you know, cutting, you know, hair in our house. You know what I'm saying? Because we do, we also got a personal barber ourselves, you know, who happens to be a pastor, by the way. And, but anyhow, so me and my brother had to wait for a very long time, just like we did before, all the way back in 2005. And, you know, when it was my turn, like this man was cutting my hair, y'all, Y'all would never guess what this man did while he was cutting my hair. He actually stopped right in the middle of, of him cutting my hair just to go holler at some chick outside. You know, outside outside the shop because he saw this fine he saw this fine dime piece, you know, outside the shop. And he wanted to take it upon himself to stop what he's doing, cutting my hair, just to go holler at that chick. I'm like I'm thinking to myself, what are you doing? Like, that's, this is just very unprofessional. Now, see these barbershops? They're very unprofessional. Like, you know, they don't know when to be professional. They don't know, you know, when to. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But, you know, time is money. And you're wasting somebody. Not only are you wasting somebody's time, but you're wasting money. And y'all really not trying to make money, aren't, aren't y'all? Since y'all have people waiting for a long time. Then you want to stop what you're doing just to go holler at some chick. Y'all, I just can't. But, um, you know, he was cutting my hair first, and then he wanted to go holler at this chick outside. You know, completely stopped what he was doing. Then he came back, and, oh, and I forgot to say this. You know, I really didn't like the way that man cut my hair before. And if you were going to be rude to me, at least do your job right. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, I can't. But, you know, eventually, um, you know, he finished cutting my hair and, and, and I, I ended up paying him as you wish you would because y'all know the kind hurt of person that I am. And, you know, I just went on by my business and, oh, and I also forgot to say this. Um, the second time I went to that barbershop, um, this was a different man to cut my hair. This wasn't the same man before. So the same man to cut my hair before, he was like, you got greasier hair this time? I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why are you even asking me that? I'm like, no. I'm like, you know what? And y'all, I'm going to be honest. Like, I really wanted to give give him a piece of my mind. Like, I really wanted to just curse him out and all that stuff. But, you know, I held my tongue. And, you know, I kept my composure the whole entire time. Because, you know, I always like to keep my cool. And I, especially in a professional setting. But, um... But y'all, like I said before, the third time, I was completely over it. You know, just like they say, in baseball, three strikes, you're out. So, you know, I haven't went back there since. And that's basically my reason why, my reason why I don't like going to barbershops. And, and another thing I hate at barbershops, like, I can't stand when somebody's cutting my hair, then all of a sudden they have a whole bunch of flies f flying all around you, especially in your face and all that stuff. And you really want to swap those flies away, but you can't because somebody's already cutting your hair. So that's another thing I hate. But that's pretty much all I got to say. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. And y'all can follow me on my Twitter at 504 Mark Anthony and all that good stuff. You know, all of the information to my social media will be down there in the, in the description box below. And in the meantime, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.